Hey everyone and welcome back to this class, Advanced Convolutional Neural Networks. In this section of the course, we are going to move on to a new topic, Object Detection. This is the first section of the course where we will transition from the study of the neural network itself to something more like a system involving a neural network. As you can imagine, object detection is a task that has been around for a very long time, way before deep learning became popular. Neural networks, and CNNs in particular, are just a small piece of the puzzle. So in this section, we'll see how CNNs are used for the purpose of object detection, and in particular, a very popular algorithm called SSD. SSD stands for a Single Shot Multi-Box Detector, and after going through the lectures in this section, you'll understand why it has this name. SSD shares a lot of techniques with another famous algorithm called YOLO, so you'll essentially be learning both at the same time. SSD is a real milestone in computer vision because before this, object detection was quite slow and required multiple stages. Even with the state-of-the-art hardware, you still couldn't get real-time performance. That's basically a prerequisite for things like self-driving cars because you absolutely have to be able to recognize objects right when you see them. It's not just an interesting computer science problem, it's now a safety requirement. So SSD can do everything in a single shot, which is what makes it fast, and we're now able to process images in real-time. If you want to check out the original SSD paper by Wei Liu, you can follow this link, which is also provided in extrareading.txt. What's also awesome about SSD is how much better it is than the previous state of the art. So if we look at this chart comparing precision and speed, basically higher up and more to the right is better. We can see how SSD compares to other algorithms such as YOLO, RCNN, and its variants. Usually there is a trade-off between speed and accuracy, but SSD improves on both. What's also interesting is, in the context of CNNs, how much the field has improved after deep learning started being used. Computer vision research didn't always embrace deep learning like it does today but it's clear what impact deep learning has had on the field. So what are we going to cover in this section? First, we are going to build up from concepts we already know. We know about classification and regression. Now we are going to put these together and see how we can do a task called object localization. Next. We are going to broaden our scope a little bit and go from object localization to object detection. After that, we'll look at one simple strategy for object detection called sliding windows. We'll examine why this is slow, and we'll look at how to improve it just by making use of tools we already know about. We'll also examine the problem of scale. For example, in this image, you can see that the car only takes up a very small space but the bicycle takes up a very large space because it's closer. Ideally, your object detection system should be able to find both. So we'll see how SSD solves this problem. Quite serendipitously, the solution to this problem is precisely like another concept we looked at earlier in this course. Finally, we'll look at the SSD architecture at a very high level, and then I'll show you how to use an industrial strength SSD implementation provided by the nice folks on the TensorFlow team. You'll see that even just using this code is quite the task. Next, we'll modify the code a little bit so that it will work on videos. So you'll be able to generate a video like this to annotate a video with all the objects that were detected by the neural network. You could even use your webcam or build your own security system. It's pretty cool how widely applicable this is. Finally. For those of you who want to look at some of the more formal concepts behind SSD, we'll look at topics like landmark detection, intersection over union or Jacquard index, and non-max suppression. These aren't interesting if you just want to do the practical stuff, but if you're going to be reading the literature, you're going to see these things mentioned, so it's nice to know what they are.